Okay, so this is a very impromptu video. What I have here, and sorry for the echoiness, I didn't move my uh, desk around just a little bit. Desk, uh, work table, eh, whatever you want to call it. Reloading bench. Anyway, on the left we have the Lyman uh, pocket scale. On the right we have the the Home Geek, and I just they've they've been warming up, and I've also just finished calibrating both of them. In fact, let's uh, grab these with the tweezers. Fifty grams. This is a little bit more troublesome. One hundred. So let's see how they deal against one another. First, we're going to switch them to grains. There we go. Ounce. There we go. And I have these check weights. These are from RCBS. So let's see how each of these do against one another. Because, part of the reason why I'm doing this, hmm, is I've been wondering if, when doing my 10 shot load development, if there's a, hmm, degree of inaccuracy. Ah, that one went up for a bit, but then it went back down. This is still at 20.02. I'm not sure if I'm already seeing a little bit of drift here, but honestly, the fact that, ah, see, there we go. That is part of the issue with electronic scales. And by the way, that's like to the, let's see, tenth, hundredths. One hundredth of a grain is a silly, stupid, small amount of weight. Like, my breath could probably set these off. So let's that seems good. Okay. So far so good. Certainly is pretty snappy, isn't it? Ah, see? And this is... <laughs> it's making a liar out of me. So now, before I calibrated it, I was noticing that the Lyman was drifting quite easily. But, uh, it's making a liar out of me. But, who knows, maybe evidence will say... Otherwise, so currently with both of them, we've seen a little bit of inaccuracy. So let's add a five grain weight. Let's make this up to 17. Perfect. We'll see if it switches at all. And we'll give it a couple more tries, just like we did with the Home Geek. Oop. That was a little bit tough now, wasn't it? Hmm. Let's go 
go back. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is worse than gambling. Whoop. Hit my stand. Okay, so on the left we already have a little bit of drift just for funsies. Let's take these off. Let's go back to the bigger weights, the 20 grain weights. 20.1. Oh, it went back down to 20. That one says 20. That one says 40. No, it says 20.1. We'll give it a little bit, though. We'll give it a little bit. Let's see if it goes back down to 20. And just for the sake of repeat repeatability, there we go. See, I'm wondering if maybe... Is it dependent on the place? So 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1, 20.1
because uh, you measure it a couple times, you know what weight it is, you wait for it, and then you hit tear. Like it should come out to, oh, see here's, um, I should say 135.2. This says 135.3. Made a liar out of me. There you go. So at this point you would hit tear. Forty, there we go. Let's do the same thing. Over here. And see, one thirty five point two. Tear, boom. And see how it says negative one thirty five point two? That's the other part you want to pay attention to, because when it starts to drift, it'll go up and down. So just something to keep in mind. For those of you who are thinking about switching to an electronic scale, that is an automatic. Anyway. Hmm. A little bit above. And a little bit above again. So both scales are displaying a bit of drift. We can't really argue against that. Um, however, we are seeing that the Home Geek, which is at least 10 bucks cheaper. I think when I bought this, it was 25 bucks. I think you can usually get it for about 30. Uh, this was, I think I bought it for 15, it might've been 17. And for what you're getting, that's, that's a really good bargain. That's a really good deal. So, just for funsies, let's grab this and move it over. A little bit too heavy for tweezers. Boom, 40. Not bad. We can see negative 135.2. Let's switch it over again. Ah. I wonder if we just simply bump it. It's being pretty consistent and it's 40.04. .04. Ah, see and look. 135.1. So the alignment scale is definitely drifting. This one's definitely drifting, but just by a little bit. I wonder how well the camera, the microphone camera is, um, the camera's microphone, God, learn to speak, is picking up me trying not to breathe directly on these things. See, look, 135 straight. This one still says 40.04. .04. I wonder how many times we have to, oh, hey, look, see the difference. And we'll try to place them back over here. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Because it was down to uh, 130, 135 even. The, well, not 135.2. The difference makes up for it. And now I think I saw it. Let's see, 0.3. Yeah, it's starting to get erratic now. Wow. Let's try doing the same thing with the Home Geek. I 
I certainly, um, I mean, you can't deny it's not doing the same thing, but um, it certainly is doing it to a far less degree, right? It still says 40.040. Oh, jumped up to 0. 0.6. Might have been because of my breath. You can already hear my bias kind of coming through. And it's, uh, when you take it off, 135.18. So, yeah, like, basically, the drift here is half of a tenth of a grain. <laughs> well, I can't say we'll round up, but that is a stupid small amount. Like, that's less... Then probably the variation you get kernel to kernel with a powder, right? Yeah, now it finally says 135.16. Goes up just by a wee bit. But let's see here. Boom. I saw it jump up just a little bit, but whereas this one is off by half a grain. I'm sorry, I misspoke by half of a tenth of a grain, we can go ahead and say five, five hundredths. The Lyman scale is almost drifted off by 0.5 grain, so half a grain. That, although not hugely significant, statistically, proportionally, that's a huge difference. Jesus, look at this. 40.5. Uh, so it actually did drift by half a grain. Um, in fact, what the hell is going on? It must be me breathing on it, basically. Anyway, um, that or the drift just really is starting to get that bad. Anyway, um, factory ammunition. Um, you can handedly see a couple grains, not tenths of a grain, a couple grains worth of difference in factory ammunition, or, or surplus ammunition is even worse. Um, but this is getting to the point where, if you're especially if you're trying to make precision reloads, we're this isn't good, right? Like this is not good. So, yikes! Let's. And we're just to the point where the drift is real, right? 0.7. We're at the point where even, um, you know, both of these manuals say that after a couple measurements, I want to say specifically it says about 10, you want to tear it again with just the uh, base scale. Uh, so basically you want to not quite recalibrate it, but you want to tear often. But... This is where it's kind of showing, oh, now we're off by a tenth of a grain here. Oh, heaven forbid. Let's try bumping it, see if that makes any difference. And it did. So just for funsies, let's take these out. Couldn't be because I'm touching the thing, is it? Are the oils from my hand actually adding that much weight? I've heard some people say yes. Let's go back to tearing. Oh, well, let's reset. Here we go. Here we go, 135.2. So just for funsies, we're just gonna place the 40 grains back in there.
Give it a little bit. I'll try moving it actually with the Hmm. It's interesting because Oh Jesus. Good job. Well, as you can see, a little bit above by four hundredths and we can already see the drift for the lineman come back a little bit but let's place the weight back on there let's see what it says and let's try bumping it like we did the other one just in case it's a, uh, there we go. But still, the fact that it said 40.1 for so long kind of worried me. And here the Home Geek is back up to 40.04. So, I guess we have to do a recap which scale would you trust? Hmm. Honestly, the Lyman has been pretty faithful to me over the years. I've enjoyed it. It's been very convenient. And honestly, it's, it's still good enough. But uh, I do think that when it comes to doing the quick work, I am going to be switching. Um, so if this is influencing your uh, purchase at all, I mean... Buy what you want, buy what you trust, but uh, from this, I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy I uh, went ahead and decided to just try something new, just to see if something might be up. And I'm glad to see that the lineman is still in working order, but, well, results speak for themselves. Hmm. <laughs>